there were many and then any time that I could buy something I could just tick I could just tick I could just tick and I really felt when I was ticking and ticking and ticking and ticking and ticking and I could say yeah yeah you're moving and you're moving and you're moving and you're moving and within no time my house was full and even I, could, I can see comments <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, please give a warm welcome to your host, the sexiest woman of all time, the one and only Shiko Paul. As we say here in Nairobi, Kenya, Kamakawa, Kamada, Karaburi Sana, where your thoughts and ideas are most welcome. My YouTube YouTube family, so today, hopefully you're fine, hopefully you're doing well. On today's show, I'll be giving you on tips that I used before moving out alone. And I, I, that I guess it's it might be of of <laughs> of helpful if I just shared it to you. So on the first tip, have reasons that's making you move out of the place. Have valid reasons that's making you move out of that place that you want to and live alone, you know. Have reasons. Myself, I had reasons of like, I don't want to stay on the hostel again. I've been having infections and I think so it's not happy for me. Uh, I guess I'm on the edge that I just want to have my own privacy. So have valid reasons more for moving out alone. Just have, think and think and think and think. Just let it not be like a pressure because you're seeing people are just moving out and then you say, like, I would also want to move out. Have reasons why you want to and make yourself understand. I want to move out because I want this and this and this and this and this. So if you have the reasons and they are much more positive than the negatives, you weigh out and then you see there, are, there is a lot of positivity when you move out then move out and the second thing make sure you have got that money that you have got that cash flow of paying the rent like you'll know like if i move out i won't i won't have the pressure of where's the next rent where's the next upkeep where's the next everything you make sure that you have got the cash of paying the rent and the upkeep of and making sure that you won't suffer make sure you have got the money of moving out you know moving out is expensive like mostly like you have if it's your first time staying alone you have to buy the mattress you have to buy the makeup you have to buy plates you have to buy cups all of those stuffs so make sure apart from the rent and the upkeep you have got this money for buying this basic basic needs that you can't stay without make sure you have got the money and i repeat make sure you have got that enough money for starting up a life alone like buying those basic 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 needs things that you can't stay without the next thing have an idea of a place that you want to let it favor you if you have gotten a place let it be near to the place of your workplace you know, have idea. Like, I wanted to a place that it's Mombasa Road or Joko Road, where it's easy to access to the airport and easy to access to the CBD because I did tourism. And you can see, you 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 make sure that where you are, it's on the center. Like you won't spend a lot of transport to move to your workplace. You understand? And so you have a location of the place that you want to. And if you find the location that you want to, make sure in that location there is total security like if you if you come back at 2 2 a.m you'll be you'll be safe you won't be like you're tensing you're tensing you don't know robbers uh, yes everywhere i know like you, you really don't know but at least make sure that the place you're moving the location that you are moving to there is security there is security and then make sure into the house that you're moving for when you're water like for me water was a must a 24 7 water and i really wanted fresh water for me i really didn't want the borehole ones i really loved the fresh water because i didn't want another expenses of buying another fresh water for for drinking and then you know and, and then i'm paying for for the for the other uses of water i really didn't want that 
and then the, the thing was security and then you know the rent that 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 place that you have seen it the location that you have seen that you'll be able to pay the rent so it's the rent security and the water for me it was like I must know and the space the space if you are, if it's a bed sitter it's a bed sitter if it's a single room that you want go for a single room don't go and then you see ah you wanted a single room and then you see a bed sitter and then you just move on on a bed sitter and you know the amount it varies and then you start having that pressure like it's on the third month the fourth month you have pressure on paying the rent you understand it's not healthy so be specific on the kind of space that you want if it's a one bedroom don't go for a two bedroom if it's a bed sitter don't go for a three bedroom and if it's a single room don't go for a bed sitter go with the go with the money that you have you see so the other tip is right write all the basic needs that you want for the house and the secondary needs that the basic needs that they will be like your first priority after you buy you finish buying the basic needs and then you come buy the secondary needs and the secondary needs i emphasize learn in the process you learn how to save learn how to save not just using just money anyhow like you know because when you're staying alone you ha you must learn to to like you know this amount will take me to the end of the month i'll be paying my bills how i'll be doing everything skivipi i won't go less don't be that kind of a person you are like you have you have spent like all the money and you're at the half of the month and you're like who am i going to ask who am i going to take a loan for you see that all this pressure there are things that you can really avoid by just writing down myself i did write in the first beginning after i entered in i wrote down my basic needs what i want and then the secondary needs the basic needs i had an idea of the amount of money that i would set aside for it for that before moving out you know so that i can just buy and then start life with them and then i'll start saving up saving up for buying things that's legit don't just buy things because you have seen it's a second hand or just buy things because you're seeing people are just buying you see and the other tip is make sure like the one thing that it really helped me in organizing my house and making it lively and nice for me okay the the room by the the room of it it's a bohemian look yes i have been seeing uh, people commenting like i have many colors in 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 my room i should have like one game and then you know what i went for a bohemian look and a bohemian look it's how you have got variety of colors if it's like on the sitting room i want it it's with color gray if it's on the kitchen side because it's a bed sitter to distinguish a a casita your entertainment room and then on your on your bedroom aside and then on your kitchen aside that's why i used the bohemian look for me that's it i love the bohemian look i didn't want to have one color theme so in the entertainment room i just said it's black on the equipment and then on uh, uh, on the gray part of it on my kitchen as you can see some bluish and then on my bed there is some pinkish you see that's a bohemian look for me i went for a bohemian look and i felt comfortable with it so guys that's why i went for all these colors so that's why i was saying like look for other apartments to a bed sitter and you learn how to arrange your room and making it much more awesome utaenda kwa channel ya mtu you see how he she she already have arranged his house and you'll be like i'll get an i will gather one idea from here gather another idea from this person gather another idea from this person and then you'll make your house so much awesome so that's one thing that it really helped me i went i was ever time on looking on people's house tours house tours house tour arrangements so that i can have an idea on how to decorate my place and and make it so and and and, and i made sure that i want to make my place so cool that whenever i'm from outside the stress when i just enter into my room my small spacious room I feel as if I'm in living in Halingam or Mutaika it becomes my Mutaika or my Runda or my everything you see make sure that's one thing that it really helped me is, do you think there is anything 
Oh, another thing that I forgot to tell you is move to to places where your friends are you call so that you can learn how to to survive alone, being alone, so that at least you can learn to 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 draw how to manage yourself. Like you want to manage a lot of mouths. You see, <laughs> sorry to say so. I didn't say friends are bad, but I think so at that time you can just minimize them because you're saving up and to say you're not even working that much as still a student you're saving up you want to buy this you have all these these things these things give the cost because seriously you you, are, you have moved into a, to a place to a room it's empty and you want to jazz you know like you have to to minimize people coming to your place so that at least you can save up that's that's one thing that i used so after I finished up and then they are now welcome, you can come to my place and I will have no nothing. No, baby, I'm not lying. I sacrificed my hair for buying this and those cooking pots. For real. I did sacrifice my my hair for about four months, or maybe it was six months. I cut off my hair. It was big, but at least it's growing. I said anyway, it became to a it became to a place that I'm not working, I'm just depending on my parents and um, i don't want to so much on uh like dad send me money for the salon do this for me for me for me and i really wanted to know like i told you for me i'm i really love when i'm so comfortable in my place i don't want to go to someone's place and i'm like god i don't want even to feel like moving out from his his or her place so like i said what i'm cutting off so that i can buy a something that i want for my house and i cut off and it was worth the sacrifice so learn to sacrifice i sacrificed on instead of of eating chicken 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 every day that i wanted instead i went to giteri skuma ugali things and it actually it made me not like love them i don't say giteri and skuma are are bad but i just said i just learned how to sacrifice some things and i found myself loving them like i can't stay without ugali i can't stay without mm, skuma I can't stay without eating giteri i can't stay and there's these things that hot dog all those fancy fancy things i really don't i didn't like them you see so one thing is learn how to sacrifice on some things if it's cutting your hair cut it it will grow for me i said i will cut it because i saw the salon money it's a lot like two thousand two thousand for three weeks and i bomb white two thousand for the ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. and i need my i'm telling you i never went for nails i used to apply my own q-tips my own things i sacrificed even buying clothes you know what but i can say it was worth the sacrifice if guys you really want to know on tips that i used to save up you can just comment down below i'll gladly tell you on the tips that i used to save up in everything and then uh, what else? you buy something you take and make sure you unaji unaji treat you treat yourself like you say this month i really want to buy this and this and this so if you manage to buy that treat yourself by it's going out go treat yourself that's one thing that it really encouraged me and i really felt nice I don't know guys i should show you i don't know i really did write them on this head this place actually i was given by my ex though <laughs> this book it's really nice so actually um thank you ex for, for giving me this so actually i wrote them down oh my dears if you can see there are a lot but i don't know whether you can see i wrote them down there were many and then anytime that i could buy something i could just tick i could just tick i could just tick and i really felt when i was ticking and ticking and ticking and ticking and ticking and i could say yeah yeah you're moving and you're moving and you're moving and you're moving and within no time my house was full and even i, I can see comments on the house tour that i did on my house tour move into your to another room it's so full i'm telling you if I find pictures, I'm going to, to, to show you guys. Thank you for always subscribing to my YouTube channel. Always supporting me. So it's a road to 2,000 subscribers, guys. 
I don't know when, when I will be uploading this, it will be at 2,000 or at 1,000 yet. So it's a road to 2,000 subscribers. And thank you for your support in everything. How can I repay you? But ever telling God to, if you're watching this, keep blessed. My God, keep on sharing you with a lot of blessings, good health, good everything. And if you're a new subscriber here, welcome to the gang. Welcome to the gang. We're good content, good vibes, good everything. It's just, it's served here. So what else can I tell you? Ciao, Bello. I love you guys so much. Deep, 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 deep within my heart. And if you have got any content that you want to me to share, just comment down below. And I really appreciate, appreciate so much. And uh I'll be giving out shout outs to the first five that comments. The first five that comments, I'll be giving out shout outs. Whether you have your own YouTube channel, whether you, you, you I'll just give shout outs to the first five people to comment. Like, share, subscribe. Yep, yep, yep. Till, till we meet again for more good content, anything good vibes, all time, all time. I love you. I'm sending all kisses, all the loves. Mwah. From me, from you, from me. Bye. Ciao, Bella.